Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. We have a great show planned for you today. To start it off, we're going to have The Clue play live with Zoe, and then we're going to have Tava live with softball. What else are we going to have, Sophia? We also have Channing live with the surf team, and Val live in the library to talk about peer tutoring. Let's make it a great show. I'm Rowan Boyd. And I'm Sophia at the Mile. And CHS TV starts right now. To start off the show, we're going to have a story by Michael and Colton on a sophomore water polo player here at Carlsbad. I'm Tony Burke, and I play water polo for Carlsbad High School. Tony Burke, a sophomore here at CHS, found his passion for water polo a long time ago. Uh, it's always been on my radar. My Two of my uncles played. and. I also have a distant cousin who started and he kind of lit the, the fuse inside of me and made me want to play. But there's one aspect of water polo that's his favorite. Honestly, I'd have to say the environment. Like, everybody's pushing each other to be better and especially the coaches. The coaches are awesome and they know what our body needs to be perfect. Go! Uh, typical practice right now, uh, we have them five days a week, and we have dry land first. For the second hour, we'll hop in and we'll usually swim, more endurance training. Water polo is a lot of endurance. And then we will usually finish it off with like getting balls in and, I don't know, just passing and shooting. As the season progresses, Tony has high hopes for the future of his team. Our season has been had definitely had its ups and downs, and I think we're gonna keep progressing. So yeah, I think we're gonna do good. Tony has specific plans on how to improve in the future. Uh, by doing my best, by eating my best, by uh, trying my best, by doing everything to my best ability, and giving the most amount of effort that I can. Good luck in your games, Tony. For your CHS TV in Carlsbad, California, with photojournalist Michael Basista, I'm Colton Gilly. One, two, three, see you Thank you, Michael and Colton, for that piece. The Red Cross Blood Drive will be taking place here at CHS on October on Tuesday, October 18th, in the gym from 8 to 2:30. Sign up using the QR code posted around campus. Reminder, CHS will have its 2022 College and Career Fair on Thursday, October 13th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Carlsbad High School. All are welcome and food will be available for purchase starting at 5 p.m. Now we have Zoe live in the studio with some of the cast for CHS's upcoming play. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Zoe Watts, live here in the studio with Charlie from Theater. So, Charlie, I know that you guys have a show coming up later this month. Can you give us a little bit more information about that? Um, yes. So the show that we have coming up this month is Clue. It's a murder mystery with a lot of fun comedy bits in it, and it's just a super fun show. All right, that sounds awesome. So if people are interested in coming out and getting tickets, where can they do that? Um, we have a couple different options. We have a scavenger hunt going on around campus right now where you can find clues around campus and then turn them in for tickets. There are also QR codes posted around campus that lead you to a link for tickets. And then there's also a link in our Instagram bio at Carlsbad High Theater. All right, Carlsbad, make sure to keep that in mind. And then I know that you guys have a new theater advisor this year. So how's that been going for you guys? Um, Ms. Schock is wonderful. She's a great teacher and she's really working on bettering the department and we're really glad to have her. 
And finally, any shout outs? Um, shout out Chloe Norton, I love you. All right guys, make sure to keep that in mind and come out and support our theater department later this month. I hope to see you all there. Thanks for that, Zoe. Peer tutoring is back starting October 12th. Tutors will be available in the library for drop-in support. No appointment is necessary, so make sure to stop by. Details about specific t days, subjects, and times will be offered, will be coming soon. Visit the counseling department if you have any questions. For anyone interested in trying out for boys lacrosse this spring, there will be a 10-minute player interest meeting on Tuesday, October 11th at 12.45 p.m. in the Lancer Arena. Make sure to stop by. Now we'll send it with Tava in the studio with updates about softball's preseason warm-ups. What's up, Carlsbad? I'm Tava Valenti, here with the softball team to talk a little bit about their preseason. So what is preseason? Preseason is basically a place where girls can come out, get a feel for the softball team, and see if they really want to try out. And when does your preseason start? So our preseason starts this Thursday at 6.15 in the morning, but it will rotate between Wednesdays and Thursdays each week, so next week it'll be a Wednesday. And can anybody come out to watch your preseason? Yeah, anybody is welcome, even if you don't have any experience. Any shout-outs? Shout-out AP Research, period one. Elise Nish. Thanks so much for coming on, and with that, I'll send it back to Sophia. Thank you, Tava. The Rotary Youth Exchange Program is a low-cost scholarship program tailor-made for you, and you will have the opportunity to learn a new language, discover another culture, and truly become a global citizen. Come learn more at the Information Night, Wednesday, October 19th, 6 to 7 p.m. at the Agua Hidionda Discovery Center. The City of Carlsbad's Pumpkin Plunge will be happening on Saturday, Saturday October 15th at 5 p.m. at Algo Norte. Pre-sale tickets are now available on the City webpage. Now we're going to have Channing live with the surf team. Channing, what's up? Yes, thank you, Rowan. I'm here with Luke, Mason, and Cameron from our very own surf team. So, Luke, I know you guys had a competition this past weekend. How did that go? Uh, it went really well. Uh, we made it to the, I mean, five of the men made it to the finals, and the waves were really fun. Congratulations on that. And, Mason, what did you guys do to prepare for this competition? Uh, to prepare, we just got a lot of time in the water and ate really well and got plenty of sleep and just studied heats and made sure we had plenty of strategy. Sounds like a lot of hard work. And, Cameron, when is your guys' next competition? Uh, we have a contest on November 6th at Avalanche Beach. Well, thank you guys for coming on, and good luck at that next competition. The Carlsbad City Library offers free online homework help on their webpage under e-resources. Apply for the library card to access this amazing resource. Reminder, the Play Clue will be presented October 27th through the 29th at 7 p.m. in the Cultural Arts Center here at Carlsbad High. Tickets are $8. Students, if you'd like to promote your new or existing club or get an announcement on the air, please come by room 5105 before school or at brunch to see Ms. Cohn. Now we're going to have Val live in the library to talk about peer tutoring on campus. Val, what's up? Good morning, Crossbad. I'm Val Bedoya, standing here live in the library to talk a little bit about peer tutoring starting this Wednesday, October 12th. Peer tutoring will be available Mondays and Fridays from 7.30 to 8.25 right before school, and then Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. right after school. So if you need any help on any of your subjects, including math, social studies, English, science, etc., make sure to stop by the library. No appointments needed, just sign, no sign-ups or anything, just kind of show up to the library. And yeah, have a great day, Lancers. Now we have Race on the magic window to give us some updates on the current situation in Russia and Ukraine. That's right, Sophia. My name is Ray Skruskin, and I'm on the magic window to give you guys some information about a recent bridge explosion that took place in Crimea a couple days ago. So to start things off, Crimea used to be a part of Ukraine, but as of 2014, Vladimir Putin took over, and in 2018, he established a bridge connecting Crimea over here and Russia over here. Now, the original purpose of this bridge was to transport goods along this area right here, as well as it making it easier to travel between the two. But because of the war, this, the role of this bridge has changed to now uh, transporting military personnel and weaponry across the two areas. This brings us up to current times, Carlsbad, where the explosion took place on October 8th at 6.07 a.m., unfortunately causing three, three casualties. Now, the Ukrainian government has not taken credit for these actions, but they have shown open support to whomever has created them. Now, here we have a close-up image from this surveillance camera over there, which is why it is lower quality, but you can just see the magnitude of this explosion and how much damage it caused to the bridge. Now, this bridge specifically meant a lot to Vladimir Putin, and because the explosion took place on his birthday, it sends a very direct and personal message towards him and because of the war and its current state. Now, I'm going to send it back to Sophia at the desk. 
Thank you, we, um, race. Teachers, would you like to get an announcement on air? Go on chstv.com, click more, then click submit announcement. It's early day at Carlsbad, so let's make it a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi. I'm Jacob Clark. Occasionally on CHSCV, we'll broadcast live from our Lightcraft studio. This technology is officially called virtual production, and it's pretty amazing. We'll explain how virtual production is quickly changing the way movies and television shows are produced. Stay tuned for more Lightcraft segments, and of course, every day we'll bring you magic window reports, live coverage via satellite, and of course, live guest conversation in our studio. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.